Good morning from sunny Milton Keynes, a land of concrete. And we're here with the Sunra, which is the launch of their company in the UK. And we're out on their 125cc equivalent electric scooter called the Robo S. Comes with quite a bit of technology, um, fingerprint recognition, keyless ignition. It's got space for a full face helmet under the seat, dual batteries. Comes with a three year warranty on the battery and a two year warranty on the bike. Um, price I think is 3299 for this version. There's also a one battery version which is the Robo which is about a grand less so you basically gain one battery less for the grand. It's got three driving modes which you press on the D button on the right hand side. Eco, Normal and Sport. Uh, it's a scooter that you can take uh, pillion on if you like. It's got a decent range, around about 84 miles on the two batteries um, or according to some rough probably 65 miles in reality if you used it in normal use uh, as with anything on an electric it depends on the terrain that sort of thing how much it's going to take out your battery seating position on it is a little bit cramped for me you know, your legs are quite 90 degrees and that's all you can do there's no room to move your feet forward at all but on a bike like this you're not really doing mega mileage so that's not a big deal it picks up nicely as well as you can probably tell on the video uh, yeah full led lighting digital dash can't really miss that um, speedo there don't get on much bigger although the delay on that uh, dark screen's a bit awkward got a glove box up front as well it's open so i'm not going to leave much in there nice uh, fold out bag hook flat floorboards for putting some stuff on which is always handy also top box on the back and of course you've got your storage space under the seat which is always a bonus and you can charge this either on the bike or off the bike. If you charge it with the batteries on the bike, it charges both batteries together. If you um, charge it off the bike, then it just charges one. Um, and you can charge both batteries on the bike in just four hours. And it costs you about 29 pence. So uh, we're going to do a bit of riding and see how we get on. Recording. Scooter feels nice and stable at speed, which is good. Um, that's the thing about electrics. They've got a little bit of extra weight on them. So although it's only a 125, it's... They're always quite a bit weightier than a petrol version, good for stability. As you can see, it's showing 53 mile an hour. That's its top speed, but it gets here quickly and uh, can maintain it quite well as well. There are a couple of things that I'm not dead keen on on this. Firstly, the switch gear. It looks a little bit 1980s. The buttons are all very close together, so when I'm putting the indicators on and off, I keep it in the horn as well. The indicators you have to turn them off rather than push to cancel. Um, it's got these rubber floor mats on that cover the battery, which I think is an accessory so you can probably take it off, but I keep catching that with my foot. The other thing is the glare on the speedo. I think it's just at the wrong angle, or it could do with a slightly bigger screen on it just to give it a bit of protection from the glare of the sun. Because it's black, it just reflects everything. Most of the time you can see it, but occasionally you just look at it and can't see much. I did manage to put the indicator on there though without pressing the horn, which is good. Recording. That's a Ruby Rides in front. Ruby rides the wrong way, I think. As always on Scooter Lab, the video is just part of the uh, review. We've also got a full written road test, which you can check out on the website. There's loads of re reviews and road tests on there. It's scooterlab.uk. Find out a bit more about what we think of the Sunra and the Miku. There are a few other electric road tests on there as well, if you want to check out some other models. And plenty of uh, good old fashioned petrol ones. In fact, with all the petrol I've saved on this road test today, um, gives me a chance to ride my Quattrini powered Lambretta to the seaside at the weekend and I'm going to burn lots of oil and lots of petrol and have great fun doing it. Sorry environmentalists, we can't have it always.